extreme makeover. The hockey mom heads to Washington, but first she stops at Neiman's. The spending was a lot more significant than was originally reported, and that she'd perhaps spent between twenty and forty thousand dollars on clothes for her husband. That she'd perhaps spent between twenty and thirty-five thousand dollars on clothing for her children, uh, and that she'd actually spent a lot more than she'd owned up to. And I think the source of the deepest frustration for them was that after she went on stage and said publicly that she was, uh, you know, denounced the clothes, said that they were brought to her room, and that she didn't ask for them. That up to a week after that point, she was still ordering clothes and still having them brought to her and I think journalism is dead Palin was one of the few in the room who expressed concern about how expensive things were, so they started cutting off price tags before she saw them. People blamed her for all the spending that went on, but really she was one of the only people in the room that said, hey, this stuff is too expensive. Uh, Lisa Klein and another one of her assistants was actually taking off the price tags so that Sarah Palin couldn't see hmm. how much things were and she couldn't complain and she would just put them back on. Yeah. So did I say it right? No, and it hurt people. I'll try to be clearer, smarter, more obviously in support of the right of women and also the changes in our country. We might soon have the first woman president. We always treat things here with hope, our uniquely American hope that we can actually make things better, that we can make the greatest of countries not only survive, but as William Faulkner once said, prevail. I've been disrespectful to Hillary Clinton. Journalism is dead.